Aloha, how we going? Hope we're good. Special monthly sale at the collector this week. Bloke shed auction and crikey, have we got a good sale. Look at all these. These are all enamelled MCC Melbourne Cricket Club membership fob medallions. This one on the far right is the first one they ever produced. That's the second one there. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, yada, 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 yada. I think that's the first 23 that they produced. There's more MCC medallions in the bags there from the 19 sort of 50s, 40s. Really nice old advertising paperweight. $200 mint Australian gold coin. Some really nice other sort of VFL, Victorian Football League badges and pins in the little bag over the back. This is a nice little Geelong Footy Club enamelled badge. Three VRC membership badges behind it. Pretty cool Foy and Gibson crescent shaped wrench or spanner. They're more sort of 1960s, 70s and 80s MCC medallions. These are a nice little collection of medallions and coins, all Australian. More MCC ones. Sterling silver fob watches. I think they're Mooney Valley Race Club, uh, European coins, really nice little glass slide over the back there of a pretty early flying boat coming to Australia in an air race. Some more nice gear in this little box, Carey Grammar med medallions, other bits and bobs, old Melbourneian sterling silver enamelled brooch or pin. They're all VFL Park ones. These are all English sort of coins and medallions ranging from about 1850 onwards. Another nice little group right here, some silver Australian badges and pins. Um, VATC, uh, Melbourne Racing Club. And there I think what VRC ones over the back in that bag. There's some great bottle openers, all advertising. Lukey Mufflers, Foster's Lager, Mackley Duff, Shell X100. And this is a nice lot of Australian military badges, pins, buttons and stuff as well. Some really nice stuff in the jewellery cabinet this week. Alright, a lot of occasional furniture. That fire screen sort of folds up into a gate leg table. I've never seen anything like it before. Some Richmond 2017 Premiership beer, a slab and a six pack. This is pretty cool, the old milk bar light up Paul's milk bar sign. Really nice folding card tables, I like this one with a big sort of strong brass corners on it. This one's really nice as well, looks to be made of blackwood. And they're all sort of milk bar awning signs for the Herald Sun the Australian, that sort of stuff. Beautiful old medicine cabinet. Shelves and stuff inside. This is all airline sort of ephemera. Pocket knives and things. These are great little 1950s grippy. Little grip things. Little sort of comical dogs. Micrometers. Die casts. Pretty cool pair of Windsor Smith Winkle Pickers. More badges and pins. There's a really nice little Ray Bone and Son um, lawn bowls measure in here. Old Simplex extinguisher. These are all sort of little enameled little fronts and stuff off medallions. Dinky toys. Pocket knives and stuff. Queensland Motoring Association radiator badge. Big box of sporting gear, but it's all rugby stuff. <laughs> These are all boat propellers, a couple of cool little retro fans. These are all sort of sports trading cards, rock and roll magazines, some cool clothes, big sort of heavy canvas trench coat, some motorbike leathers, one piece sort of racing suit and a cool jacket as well. It's a flight suit. This is Jeff Perry's old sort of racing suit here with all the details on the back. Really cool Hawaiian shirt, a little pineapple original label and a cool old footy jumper as well all right sporting gear old ss stuart surridge cricket bat with some golf clubs hickory shafts etc some more sort of tools and micro um i think they're multimeters and stuff down in there and soldering irons this is a big lot of sporting posters and ephemera what else have we got sort of radio parts speaker cases motoring gear Blokey sort of stuff, holding hubcaps, big lot of sort of grog gear, those white decanters are full of port, two shelves full there, big lot of motoring manuals, three boxes full of all sort of hand tools and stuff. What's in here? Stamps, all sort of military related books, 
history of Australia in the First World War, etc. Aeroplane with a box of books, apes of diecast and other toy cars, ammo crates, pretty cool intercom system. It's a nice big box here of sort of Sid Chrome spanners and old hammers and other things. A couple of nasty looking things in there as well. Look at that. Do a bit of damage. All right, boats. It's a nice little bench top lathe with the electric motor to go with it. Sort of bottle openers and stuff. Sort of leather map cases and things like that. Good little group, lot of sort of blokey gear here. Some interesting books. I guess it depends on what you're interested in. There you go, little sort of orbital sort of sander thing. Uh, some prints, signed Brownlow metal stuff. Weg poster there with a ticket from the granny. Big lot of tools. What else have we got? Model kits. Unmade. Made. A rocking sheep. <laughs> That's damn cool. Two boxes of sort of blokey gear, heaps of pub stuff and some cool woodworking, do-it-yourself magazines. These are all footy cards and stickers. Nice little sort of arts and crafts cabinet. Radios. Sporting stuff with a big rolled up Bette Midler gig poster. Nice big workbench. And another one. Some cool old tins. Nice lot of clocks. Nice old French slate one here just needs to be put back together again. Cool little sort of box there with some road maps and stuff in it. Fold up Bickerton bikes which fit nicely underneath the other big workbench. Like them. It's got a nice big wooden vice up the end. There you go. Big MSG container, nice little Art Deco side table, big train set layout with a box of Thomas the Tank Engine stuff, big box of tools, and the big lot under the table there of tools, sewing machines, more tools. What else have we got? More tools. I really like this old lawn roller, like the sort of hand shaped sort of grip up the top there, all nice scroll decoration, all wrought iron, cracker of a bit. Big lot of tools down the bottom there. There's about sort of six boxes. There's a nice lot with saws and stuff in it. Heaps of sort of wiring, toolboxes, barbed wire. These are all nice old brass sieves. All boxed up pretty much as new. Ladders with a lot of sort of magazine racks and planters. Some cool retro stuff. Guitars and a banjo mandolin. What else have we got? I've been bloody busy this week. More tools. Matches. Heaps of cool old paintbrushes and stuff. Posters. Packaged as new 70s guys pyjamas. Big lot of sort of balsa wood scale model aeroplane stuff. Blueprints. Actual aeroplanes. There's some great little motors in here and they all look to be in good condition. I don't think any of them were seized. Bookies board, it's got the case that it fits in, nice little pair of old heavy cast iron outdoor bench ends, little sort of pedestals nice, what else have we got, another big lot of tools, these are all sort of smoking gear, cigars and stuff, this box has never been opened, another little lot of blokey gear and tins and stuff, so on badges and some footy rings, Johnny Walker bar mirror, some military books, and a little sort of tin there of military foot powder. <laughs> and those gators actually went with that lot and some epaulettes. It's actually a good little lot there. All right, what else? What else? There you go, Hodgy. Box of books, cricket and stuff. Bench top lathe. Um, nice little guitar, black acoustic. Little uh, Stratocaster style there. What else have we got? Oh, check this thing out. A big drumstick. Shop sign. There you go. And these are cool as well. All the sort of milk bar awning signs again. They're all mounted. Uh, what else? Cool little lot here with some eyeglasses in Hotel China. These are all pens and sort of uh, cutthroat razors and stuff. All those new men's shirts. Street directories. Packaging and stuff. Cool lot of radios. Mike Tyson, Lennox Lewis boxing poster. Cars. 
cool little lock with the old battery, nice little military torch. What's that thing? Nice big sort of optic lens. What else? They're cool. A little sort of advertising Fairstar and P&O sort of life preservers or buoys or buoys if you're American. This is cool. A big bit there of the MCC monogram carpet with all the details underneath it. There you go. Cool bit. Good little powered mixer. Six channel. Nice Aster radio. Nice old set of scales. What else have we got? Some interesting postcards and photographs of the Himalayas. Mount Everest. It's got all the title in pencil there. It's a cool little sort of scale model of a, it looks to be a little Bristol fighter, even though it's only a one-seater. But we've put a nice little cigarette case and a hip flask with it, because I reckon the bike flying would have been into that as well. Kitchen Alia, mint box corgi, some Adelaide Grand Prix gear. It's a cool little, I like those little old coat hooks there. They're a bit different with the extra little bit on the end. This looks to be a sort of modern... Uh, whaling harpoon. Pretty crazy. What else have we got? Some cool stuff down the front. Little black and white TVs of Little Ripper. Alright. Some sort of wandering sticks there. Little walking sticks with the spikes on the bottom. It's a nice box. A lot of sort of smoking gear. Packets of Marlboro 4 packets. Four cigarettes in there. Viscount. There you go. They haven't been opened. Matches. Lighters, box Ronsons, Shell Motor Spirit, Tins the Ripper with the Pora. Some great cards and stickers in those albums. Pee Wee Herman and stuff like that. Nice clock. Horse brasses and a little sort of servant's bell thing. Number plates. Little milk carriers there with some milk bottles in them. Sid Chrome Spanner set. A couple of cool little books. MG display and a mirror. Puffing Billy toffee tin. Oil cans, big sign Sharon footy, heaps of tins, automatic dart scorer, with a lot of tools, some signs, jars and packaging and bottles, 1930s cigarette cards of all various footballers, Anset Air Race, Brisbane to Adelaide program, nice group, lot of toys, table tennis, tinker toys, a yo yo and a tin, some plaques. A little sort of bandolier there's pretty cool. We think it's off um, a light horse, Australian military. It's actually off the horse. The horse had one of these sort of around their neck. There you go. Um, some scale model, 124 scales. We've got the box for that one. And this is all the paperwork for that one. There you go. They're in great condition. Nice little oil tins over the back here. Route 66. It's a nice little lot of motoring stuff, little sort of enameled Holden badge in amongst there and some other bits. Uh, bullfight poster in its original sleeve, a couple of Porsches. Shipping charts, walking sticks, more walking sticks. Castrol, a couple of nice old industrial light shades and a traffic light. More sticks. And yeah, nice big block and tackles, Ritzenhof beer glasses. Australia 2 stuff, old number plates, carpenter's planes, carriage lamps, American number plates, a little lot of pub and alia, really cool book, The Art of Eric Stanton, to the man who knows his place, <laughs> fantastic illustrations, old photo of a cricketer, fishing tackle, cigarette tins, packaging and bottles, collar boxes, stud boxes and contents, grinders, Tobacco jar, clocks, model kits unmade. Really nice blowtorch with a fire nozzle. Scale Extric slot car set's basically brand new. I'm pretty sure the power pack hasn't even been opened. Gators, little poker work tool, number plates, nice big Stanley number 8 plane. More American number plates, cool little Bakelite wall mount phone, sort of World War II aircraft gauges and a Oxygen mask box. These are all unopened packets of cigarettes. Micrometers. Sort of key rings and novelty stuff. More slot car races. Aston Martin over the back. Signed Sharon. Brassware. Craven A cigarette box with some Craven A smokes in it. Ta Canadian number plates. A couple of boats. Bottles of plonk. Poker chips from Vegas. Punching bag, more planes, more American number plates. These stencils are cool. 
Fitzroy Breweries Australia, McLaughlin and Co, Rockhampton, Walking Sticks, a couple of tins, a couple of mirrors, uh, caliper in one of those boxes and something else in the other. Pretty cool cash box there, the long sort of elongated one, handle at the front. These are cool, all the Repco reliability trial, um, August 1979, you got programs and stickers and signage. More oil bottles, football Skittles game, but it's not really football, it's bloody rugby. <laughs> Dalton and Shorter and Son, tracks, little Energel tin, a couple of Dunhill ceramic sort of sporting guys. This is a really nice sort of optician's eyeglass or something. Nice tobacco tins, Energel tins. More BP tins, more Trax die casts, shell as a ripper over the back, and a buggle. More sticks. Uh, grand final record from 1984 with a set of Football Life magazines from 1968 in near mint condition. Unopened 1960s Meccano set. Old photograph of Clifton Football Club 1899. Couple of nice little planes. Some bloody tool. <laughs> Boot pull. Calisthenics, Battens, another signed footy, Red X tin, this is all Prisoner of War stuff, an old silk map and some little buttons with compasses in them, nice Melbourne footy, that little Aster Transistor 7 a ripper, Castrol, old EHU, the Mobile tin a ripper, big horsehair fly swat, National Catch Register paper spike, this is a nice little bit of Australian arts and crafts, Little maker's mark underneath, all hand beaten and everything. Atomic espresso machine, Dewars, nice little lot of tins, all with paper labels. Clipco accessory kit, two McRobinson's tins. Cool old tennis balls, more tins. Tracks Holden or Ford, Jesus, get that right, young fella. Some more cool golf balls, actually. These are fantastic, the golf balls. They've got all different advertising, old Dunlops from the 60s. Really nice tobacco jar, little mint box dinky toy, golden fleece tin, Castrol oil bottle with the embossed bottle. 66 St Kilda grand final record, the first and only one they'll ever win. Yep, yep, yep. Golden fleece, enameled Esso, little Holden Monaro, little friction drive. He's a ripper. Midget golf set, a little Holden sort of little premiere. Once again, a little friction drive. These have been repainted, unfortunately. This one was black. And this one looks to have been orange at one stage. A little mint box brand spanking new National Transistor Radio. Some bloody good stuff this week, guys. Uh, what else have we got? Australian military plaques. A good lot of sort of motoring stuff. Another blokey gear. Really good Pentax camera in that case. Yeah, that'll do. You know me, I could keep rambling for another half an hour. But we've got to get catalogued. Anyway, hopefully you saw something you liked. It's going to be a bloody good sale on Thursday night. Tag along.